Okay guys, so I'm just taking this motor from over there where it ran for another let's see today's Tuesday night. Sunday morning I started it when I got home from work. And I did a whole bunch of different load testing and stuff like that. And adjusting coils and shit like that and the voltage of those of that BMS or both BMSs that were on it so before I start though here's the voltages of these batteries these are going to be the inputs so here's this one for reference I've not touched anything the two white wires there are the inputs and they're not hooked up so I've got one will go there and one will go there all I've done is turn the meters on reset them this one's not working it'll come around though I don't know why these meters do that it gives the wrong voltage and it's like reading amperage but it's, there's nothing going into it it's not even all it is is hooked up this one's hooked up too and it's not it's working fine so I'll just turn that one off for now it'll probably come around so that's that one right here. Voltages, that battery. I'm gonna check that one. What's this one here? It's actually pretty dead, this battery. But we're gonna run it. I've not run this motor in 24 volts yet. There's quite a bit of a cell difference, 0 0.096 of a volt. Yeah, that one looks pretty dead, that battery. But here, just for reference to them, it show the 12 volt batteries that were on the input. There's a 13.1 volt one. But it's ran for like almost seven days. Here are the voltages. And that's including a lot of loading it down. Like, I mean, really loading it down. It's testing out the torque. I've got a couple more magnets on the ramp down there, you can see. But it really made the, the torque go up a lot. Like, it, it, it's almost. I can't almost stop the shaft by f with my fingers on it. It'll just turn it like one RPM and just keep chugging along. And I think this is the other one, 13.3. So yeah, you can see the voltages have hardly moved. I was charging that super cap bank down there too with it over and over again on that side of the motor with these voltages here. But for now, here I'm going to start up. Start it up here now. this while I get it started. Okay, I've just started it. That one went down to zero. So it's pretty much zero Q. And zero on the output. I'll get the scope on it.
airport. Very powerful. I would never be able to stop that. There's no way. Burn my hand off. definitely noisier since I put on those extra magnets, but that's just because I got this stupid threaded shaft. I should have used the stainless steel rod that I have. That's pretty interesting. I'll get it on the scope. For watching, guys. You guys, so uh, it's been hurting for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so. Exactly the way it was when I first started it. But a minute ago, I finished adjusting the Hall effects. All I've done was move them towards the center a little bit, which in turn makes the pulse width a little bit wider. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it.
appreciate it. Let's comment below what you figure. And another thing too I wanted to say about this is anybody who knows like like you say say if you have a like a 24 volt motor and you run it on 12 volts, it's gonna run at a very low current. And it's not really linear how the amount of power goes in. See if you're only running it on 12 compared to 24, the amount of current from 12 to 24 will go up like that. So, seeing this motor run at the way higher RPMs with the same amount of power going into it is pretty. stuff like that it's still doing great seeing today there was hardly any sun but the wind put out 5.5 kW and it had the batteries 100% earlier in the afternoon which was dumping here so it probably put out more than like 10 kilowatts today but it's only what time is it things like these HID lights that I use in here that are on the grid just because of the way they, the inverters don't really like those big transformers. I don't have my big inverter hooked up to this. My low frequency inverter runs the house only. I've got these digital inverters for this building with these plugins here. We're all run off of that. But I just wanted to share that too. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it.